What's going on guys? My name is Caleb Schrackengast. This is Buffalo Creek Outdoors. Today's video is going to be all about how you can take your turkey feathers from turkeys you killed in the past and turn them into an arrow fletching that you can put on your trad arrows. Let's jump on into it. All right guys, so you've killed a turkey, you're shooting a trad bow, or even if you wanna do this for your compound arrows, who knows, it's up to you. But you've shot a turkey and you got some arrows that you wanna put your turkey feathers onto. There's a couple tools that you're gonna need uh, that'll make the process a whole lot easier. Uh, some of these things I would say I wouldn't even try doing this without these tools. Um, but the tools that I use to do it are gonna be a few things so first you're going to need some feathers uh if you shoot depending on which wing you shoot which way you want your arrow spinning off the bow is going to depend on which wing from the turkey that you're going to need to use you're going to want to use their primary wing feathers to begin with but uh if you're, as long as you've got primaries figure out which direction you want your arrow spinning and which fletching jig you have i'm shooting a right helical I want a right wing feather, so I'm going to use an actual right wing off my turkey. So I've got the right wing uh, feathers clipped off. Uh, and like I said, you want to use your primary wing feathers. It's going to be the stiffer wing feathers, uh, the, the ones that you hear and see them dragging the ground as they're strutting. Those are going to be, going to be the wing feathers that you're going to want to use. So you're going to need feathers. I've got a whole bag of them here. You actually don't get that many off of a turkey. Uh, you get enough to do a handful of arrows, but you're gonna screw up, uh, or at least I do as I'm working on these. Sometimes I'll screw up and I'll mess a feather up and then you can't even use it anyway. So it's, uh, it's pretty much worthless from that point. But some other tools, I use a box cutter. I'll show you what I use that for. A small set of side cutters. I have a straight clamp. This is just a Bitsenberger straight clamp that I don't really use for anything else. Uh, that's gonna be the key. You're probably gonna tear this thing up over time. Um, so I use this. And then another thing that's gonna be critical to this, I have a, uh, this is called the Shark Cutter. It says it's made in Germany. Uh, I've got this in a shield cut, a uh, four inch uh, jig. Uh, depends on what type of feather you want to run. If you're running four inch parabolics, four inch shield, five inch, three inch, whatever it is, you're going to need the jig to cut those out. Uh, I've seen guys make a homemade jig. That really wasn't for me. I wanted something that I could just take and start cutting these things out. It's already a long enough process without having to build your own jig. I got this off of Three Rivers Archery. A lot of the stuff that I use for my trad arrows are, is bought off of Three Rivers Archery. Uh, so let me go ahead and clean this up and get some of this stuff out of the way. You definitely want to try to keep your work area um, clear of stuff because as you do this, it's going to create a lot of dust. So I'll just go ahead and move my box of, I just got done doing an arrow, arrow video. Move some of this stuff out of the way. All right, so my work. Workstation's clean. Uh, and while I'm cleaning this off, we'll talk about my next tool. And that is some sort of belt sander. Um, this is just an old belt sander that my grandpa had. Excuse me. Um, this makes this process much easier, but it is not a necessity. If you have a hand belt sander, you can use that. If you just wanna use that clamp and use sandpaper, it's just gonna take a while. I would recommend if you have one or if you have the money to buy one, these belt sanders like this make this process so much easier. Another thing you're gonna need and pretty much the last tool that I say you'll need is going to be some sort of cutting board uh, that you can lay your feather on and, and cut the feather. So that's pretty much it for tools. Let's go ahead and jump on into how I do this. So like I say, you got a bunch of wing feathers here the primaries seem to work the best, which are gonna be your more coarse 
wing feathers, which I am almost out of. Uh, uh, uh. I got enough to do this video, but I will hopefully be killing some turkeys this year and I'll need to use the feathers off of them to do some more videos. I got another bag around here. So like what I do when I get my, when I kill my turkeys, I go ahead and clip their wing feathers and I mark them. So that was my right wing bag. This is a left wing bag. I mark them so I don't have to go through them in the future and try to figure out what I've got. Here's another bag from another turkey I killed. Uh, here's another primary. Let me get these out of the way. So yeah, guys, I really need to uh, kill some more turkeys because I am running low on feathers. But I, like I said, I definitely have enough to do this video. All right, so now that we've got our feathers kind of picked out, one thing you'll notice is there's going to be a thick or a wider end or wider side and a more narrow side on each one of these feathers. You're going to be using the wider side. So as you look at this feather, you can tell it's got a curve to it. And that's why you got to use right wing or left wing, depending on uh, which way you want your arrow to spin. You'll also notice that the spine, uh, I'm sure there's a more technical term. If you guys know it, comment down below the uh, spine of these f uh, feathers here, that's what we're gonna be splitting. Um, so I'm gonna take my box cutter and I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, where the spine of this feather splits right through here. I'm gonna go right in there and I'm gonna run it all the way down this feather. Just be careful because you can cut yourself doing this. This is why I like to have a cutting board, something underneath it. And you kind of got to make sure you don't get crazy with it. Take this pretty slow because if you get off just a little bit and cut past the, the spine of this fletching or feather, you will be into your feather itself and you will not be able to use this feather to fletch your arrows. All right, so like I said, be careful also as you're trying to split these things because if you don't cut all the way through and you try to peel too hard on this, it'll split. And once again, it'll be an unusable flet or feather. And that's what we get. So we've got it split. You see the two pieces, just get rid of the small, the thinner end. Now you have a good length feather. So now what I'll do is I'll look at my feather and I'll say, okay, well, this is usable. This is usable. Well, this back here is definitely not usable. So what I'll do is I'll take my little side cutters and I'll find that point where it's no longer usable and I'll clip it off. All right, so I've got that clipped off, throw that part away. On my cutting board, I have a mark for four and an eighth, four inches and an eighth of an inch. The reason I did that is because my feathers are four inches. An eighth of an inch gives me a little bit extra on each end when I'm setting it in my jig. I'll take and lay it down on that line where it's marked. I'll take my side cutters and I'll clip it. Now I have a section that I can clamp in my Bits and Burger clamp in order to grind that down. Now, lay it in them lines and I'll clip. Now I have another section. So that long feather gave me two fletchings and this is just the end that I had left. Can't do anything with it. Um, so out of that whole feather, I got two fletchings. And there's really not a way to get more out of it. You can only get what you can get. Um, so it kind of sucks because you feel like you're wasting a lot of it, but this is really, uh, you only get a small section out of each feather. So there's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and split another one. Like I said, take it slow as you do this because 
you get carried away, you will ruin, an, ruin a feather really quick. And then, like I say, you can kind of see how it's split. And you just work your way down. Be, be careful, like I said, because if you split it too hard, you'll actually crack it, and then it's not usable anymore. Throw away the little end. There you go. That feather is... Ten and a half inches long, so we're still only going to get two pieces out of this feather. All right, so layer down, clip. There's a piece or a fletch. And some of these feathers, you only get one out of. Very rarely do I get three out of a feather. Two, so we got two fletchings out of that one. And I got one more to do, and this one we're probably only gonna get one, we might get two. It's got a bunch of messed up places in it, but it is what it is. All right, so I got some feathers cut into sections. Now what I'm gonna do, move my belt sander a little bit out from the wall, and I'm gonna take my clamp. This is gonna be the next thing I do before I start cutting these things into shape. Take my clamp, clamp that fletch or feather into my jig, into my clamp. It's gonna get pretty loud, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna shave this fletch down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shave this feather down until the spine of this feather is super thin, just like what you want. So essentially you want this thing, the spine of this feather to be as thin as whatever fletchings that you're trying to simulate or match. So we'll turn this thing on. I'll run this thing on this belt and we'll talk about it a little bit. All right, so I've, go ahead, I've ran that belt sander on this feather and I've gotten the bottom thinned out quite a bit. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn my clamp sideways like so, and I'm gonna run it the side of this spine of this feather, I'm gonna run it down to where it's flush with my clamp. Same thing on the back, back side. And then I'm gonna finish sanding down and thinning the bottom. Let this thing slow down. And this is what you end up with. Super thin bends, just fine. And what that does is that allows, so for somebody like me that wants to run a helical, which it seems like most guys are running helicals, or a lot of guys are running at least some sort of a helical on a trad vein or trad fletch. Um, but it just allows that feather to mold in with your fletching jig. If that spine is super thick, it's just, it's not one, it's not needed. 
Uh, these things are plenty strong with a thin spine. Um, but two, it just makes it hard for that fletch to configure to your arrow shaft. We got our fletchings or our feathers sanded down to a good point. Got a good spine thickness on the back side of them. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cutter here, lay it down, line it up with my cutter uh, marks. And one thing I'll tell you about these, if you do buy one of these cutters, you are gonna have to adjust it, or you, sh you probably are gonna have to adjust it to match your fletchings that you already, that you want to match. So for myself, I'm using some four inch uh, shield cut feathers from Whitewater Archery. Uh, so I would actually, like I took some spare feathers or whatever that I had, and I would just cut these and adjust it until they matched. So I'm gonna lay that down, push. You'll hear it cr like crack as it goes through the feather. You'll have extras, extra pieces of feather sitting around. And what? And there is your fletch. What? Sorry, we had an interruption. Little chicky wanted to be on video. What you doing, baby? <laughs> Say hey, everybody. <laughs> Say hey, everybody. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, guys. Really just having the tools and taking the time to do it is the hardest part and having the turkey feathers to do it with. But I think this is a really good way to repurpose or use feathers off of turkeys that you've killed. It's cool to me to be able to fletch my arrows up um, with my turkey feathers and then you'll end up with a product something like that where I actually have uh, a piece of my turkeys that I've killed uh, carrying them out in the woods with me. So like I say guys, uh, if there's any other content that you guys want to see, hopefully you got something out of this. This is how I turned my turkey feathers into a fletching uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if there's anything else you want to see, comment down below and let me know. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. Like I always say, guys, remember to live your life to the fullest. Use your passions to bless others. We'll catch you on the next video.